this is Allegra, and I'm here with my City Style crew, the lovely Megan and Desandra, and of course the fashionable Kia. And we're here in front of Olive or Twist for the second annual Glam for the Cure. You guys ready? Yep. All right, sure. come on, let's go. You know, City Style was front and center for one of the most fashionable nights of the year, Glam for the Cure, a party with a purpose. And I'm here with the lovely Wadria Taylor of Style and Still Event Planning, and she's the woman who made this all happen. Now, from the fashions, the models, to the vendors, everything is so fabulous out there. Tell me a little bit about Glam for the Cure. Glam for the Cure is a fundraiser for Susan G. Komen's Race for the Cure. Um, and this is a celebration of um, women that have survived breast cancer, as well as an effort to um, increase awareness of options for screenings. Um, and ultimately, we're just trying to have a great time and fundraise some money for a wonderful organization and cause. And finally, tell me a little bit about these fashions. I know we have things from Fashion Africana, Sabika, everything. Yeah, so we have really great fashions um, from Chic Boutique, um, who are located in Squirrel Hill on Murray Avenue. Flawless Fashions, um, another uh, local retailer um, based in, the, in, the, uh, in Squirrel Hill. As well as you mentioned, Fashion Africana. Um, this is a, a definitely a team-based uh, effort um, from the makeup artists to the sponsors. Um, this year, we really elevated Glam for the Cure in that we secured sponsors from Star Social Marketing, um, One Fashion Place Magazine, Click Vodka. We have wonderful vendors from Zabika to Shamor Natural. So this is definitely a really wonderful event, and it's especially special for me because it's very women-based. Vendors, music, a silent auction and fabulous couture fashion shows. The City Style crew was backstage to get the 411 on all the fab designs. So we're here at Glam for the Cure backstage with all the models. Now I have Keisha here. She's gonna talk about one of our looks here. So tell me, what is she wearing? It's beautiful. It, it's fabulous. This look is provided by Chic Boutique in Squirrel Hill, Murray Avenue. If you haven't been there, you definitely need to go. Um, this look is a chiffon top that pulls in at the waist. Um, I think this is beautiful for women who are petite up top and are curvy on the bottom. It definitely allows her to have an hourglass figure. Full skirt that is very big in fashion now. You'll see a lot of this on the runway. Leopard print, which is in as well. Um, this look is, you can be casual with flats. She can wear heels with this. And um, the look is, the jewelry is uh, provided by... Um, one of the vendors here um, that's very beautiful as well so and it's really pretty because it's simple but it still makes a statement it definitely does simplicity with these kind of outfits are the best you want to allow the cut of the outfit and the print to speak the loudest so you don't want to allow the jeweler to compete with that so what would you tell the average woman if she wants to duplicate this look we all don't have this figure right. so what right. would you tell her? <laughs> I would definitely say find something that fits your body type if you're petite up top Find something that cinches in the waist, whether it's an empire waist that's cut right beneath your bust line. Full skirts work for every body type. If a full skirt's too much, try a maxi dress. Okay, great. Again, you look beautiful. Thank you. So Keisha, tell me about this look that you have. This look is provided by Chic Boutique as well, and this is on Murray Avenue and Squirrel Hill. The jewelry is provided by Sabika. Um, they are incredible jewelers. Um, if you haven't seen any of their things, you need to make sure that you get their contact information. Um, this is a chiffon top. Um, that sits right at the waist and it kind of flows in the back. You want to show them the back. Um, very, very beautiful. Very chic. This is something that you can wear throughout the day if you have meetings, picking up kids from school, or just want to look fashionable. The leggings are regular cotton with the spandex, and then on the side is the leather detail, which adds a little pizzazz to our outfit. Hey, this is Megan. I am backstage at Glam for the Cure, and Keisha is going to tell us what one of the fabulous models is wearing. Keisha, what is she wearing? She looks awesome. She does look great, and she is actually wearing a dress from Chic Boutique, Murray Avenue in Squirrel Hill. The jewelry is provided by Sabika. They are an exquisite jewelers. Um, she has the aqua stone with the smoke, very beautiful paired together. This is a leather bandu dress. These are very popular. You'll see them in a lot of retailers. The back is the big surprise, so let's see the back. It's completely sheer, very sexy, but still classy at the same time. And the models weren't the only Glamazons in the building. Guests also flaunted some of the season's hottest looks. And to top it off, most of the runway looks were available for guests to purchase, all while supporting a great cause. The second annual Glam for the Cure was a hit, and you know the ladies of City Style love fab events. I'm Allegra, and on behalf of the entire City Style team, 
keep it stylish in the city.